Hello, I'm Sherry Carabin, and this is Hudson TV. If you haven't been to Bayonne in a while, you'll be surprised what you find. City officials are on a mission to revitalize the area with projects going up in all of the wards. Joining me now to talk more about the projects is Bayonne's Mayor, Jimmy Davis. Hi, thank huh? you for joining me. Ah, no problem. How's things? Things are great. So tell me, when did all of the redevelopment begin? Uh, well, it was something I made as a platform when I was running for mayor. Uh, and then once we came into office, uh, we jumped right in. Uh, it, the, the city of Bayonne, the good thing about the city of Bayonne is that there's a lot of property to be developed. Uh, we're, we're about the only city that the light rail runs through where we didn't develop along the light rail. And right now, that's one of our biggest priorities. So tell me about a few of the projects that are going on right now. The biggest one we have right now is St. Barnabas, which is at between 24th and 23rd on Broadway. Uh, they went in the ground probably in April, and they should be open uh, probably June of next year. And that is, takes up a whole city block, plus a, they're building a parking deck behind it, which will have a bridge going right into the facility. We have the Military Ocean Terminal over on the east side, which has beautiful views of, of Manhattan, Brooklyn, and you know the, the Varazano Bridge. Uh, some of those projects should be, probably two of those projects should be in the ground come this following spring coming up. Some will be condos, and uh, most of them will be rentals for now. Um, but the other ones you're going to see are, are big, which are over on 21st and Avenue E, 22nd and Avenue E, which is right where one of our light, you know, our light rail stations are. So it's it's something where we're going to be able to bring, you know, young adults who want, who who enjoy the fact that they can go to work, take the mass transit, come home, and then filter their way up to Broadway and start. And that's when we're going to start redeveloping our Broadway area. Yeah, we, you know, they just completed a building up on 44th and Broadway called The Park, which is 90% rented now, which is a luxury apartment building. Uh, 46th and Broadway right on the corner where it's the old Resnick's hardware store and houses behind it. That's going to become a 10-story luxury apartment building with uh, a parking deck, with a swimming pool and whole cabana area for the people who live there. Um, you have a project going up on 14th and Broadway right now, which is downtown. And again, all these projects are strategically located so that we can start bringing the life back to Broadway. How are residents reacting to the redevelopment? For the most part, um, people are happy. Um, I think for 20 years, Bayonne kind of laid dormant and now people are starting to see that, you know, construction is happening, development is happening. Um, we're bringing new people into the city. Um, we used to be an industrial city. We're no longer an industrial city. I don't even know if an industrial city exists in the United States anymore. Um, so we basically have to reinvent ourselves from an industrial city to a city that, you know, you, you need to use your location for what you are. So are you expecting that the tax base will be increasing shortly? Yes, that's major because um, we do have a structural deficit. When I came into office, it was $24 million. We have it down to, I think, nineteen five now, um, which, because it's structural, it comes back every year. And as we you know, do these developments and the tax money comes on board, then that deficit goes down. 